Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat. Today I'm playing the first five minutes of Spelunky. This time, to avoid a uh, chop in the video, I have pre-recorded this and I'm going to attempt to narrate over top. Um, it's a first pass at this, but it means no choppy gameplay, so let's take a look. As you can see, I've jumped around a few times and already gotten hit once. Um, I <laughs> It's a fabulous game, but you will die a lot. I die a lot. Uh, it's a lot of jumping. The space is um, randomly generated, and I'm looking up and down. You squat to look down and push up to go up farther to get a little bit of sense of the level. All the levels are different. Uh, they're procedurally generated, so every time you play, nothing is where you thought you left it. Um, there are spiders, which fall from the ceiling. Um, the major point is just collecting gems, but there's also this damsel in distress right there that I'll come back and get. Um, you can choose which kind of damsel you want. There is a girl, a guy, and a pug, if uh, pugs are your sort of thing to rescue. And I was trying to figure out how to pick her up, and apparently you squat and push X or something. It's sort of funny. And, uh, but she gets conked out whenever you do that, and then if you set her down, she comes back to life and kind of waves her hands and panics, um, then you pick her back up. It's a little strange. But eventually, if she doesn't die in the process of you getting her there, which is tricky enough, if you get her to the door, then she'll walk out ahead of you, and then if you make it out, you get extra points and a kiss in the hallway between the mines. Um, and you just delve deeper and deeper on all these levels, uh, and I died. There are these faces in the wall that shoot arrows, as you can read my death um, autopsy, I guess. <laughs> it's certainly not a eulogy. Um, yeah, so I'm back at mine 1 1 again, but it's totally different this time. Um, this time I'm being chased by bats. There's another face in the wall, which I will inevitably get hit by because I keep forgetting to look for them. Blam. Uh, I don't know why I don't see those. They look too much like the other rocks. Um, they're destructible pots, as you probably noticed. I'm going to jump over here and get that one in a second. You hold down the right trigger and run and press A to jump um, until you make it over long distances or just A to jump. Getting off ladders is probably the trickiest uh, controller sort of experience. And I get hit again. <laughs> These things are just everywhere and I don't see them. Uh, and I don't know why. It's some, something to practice. So look, mine one one again and it's totally different. Um, yeah, and snakes hide in pots and will kill you. And this one was like lots of enemies right out the gate. I think they got tired of me losing and just decided that, okay, we're going to give you a harder, harder level. So there, the skeletons do sometimes come alive. The pots are sometimes occupied. The spikes will always kill you if you land on them, but you can walk through them. Gold, stacks of gold, gems, spiders. All are pretty much constants of Spelunky. Take out this snake here by jumping on its head, kind of classic Mario-ish stuff. Um, bombs are great. I'll drop one here in a little bit and show you how that works. And I'll oh, fall and get hurt. Thankfully not to my death, because you've seen that enough times. Um, let's see, take out the snake. Don't recall if I find the damsel this time or not, I don't think so. Um, but you run around, eventually a ghost will show up if you wait too long. And yeah, some of the blocks you can push around. I think I'm going to drop a bomb here in a minute and show you what that's like. And I think there are bigger bombs that you get later. There's all sorts of roguelike features. Uh, there's a shop that you can go to that sells bombs or grappling gun gloves, I guess, and compasses and all kinds of things. Um, his name is usually Hakeem, at least when I play it. I don't know if that's a constant thing. Getting spiders to fall is certainly tricky. Um, I think I'm lost right here. Oh, I'm trying to decide how to blow a hole to go up. <laughs> Which, that was decidedly not it. And yeah, okay. So we're gonna run over here and jump up and come over and try again. And this time I think it'll work. And pretty good. Oh, I've got to now use a rope, which are cool. Like grappling rope thing and jump over and climb up. This one off, and I go over here and kill some snakes. And I'm pretty sure I get shot by one of those arrow things again. Because it's what I do. It's how this game works for me. Yep, blam. And you can't fall past them. I haven't figured out how to do that fast enough. 
Um, maybe there's no way to do it. You just need to avoid them. Who knows? But that was five minutes of Spelunky. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoy getting some gameplay on in your game of choice. Give Spelunky a look. I think it's worth it.